In this video, we are going to discuss the topic of pollution as an externality. Externalities are common in almost every area of economic activity. An externality is a cause or a benefit imposed upon a third party by the production or consumption of a good. In other words, externalities exist when the activities of one or more agents affect the welfare of other agents and the welfare of other agents was not considered in decisions determining the level of activity. We know that there are two types of externality. They are positive and negative externality. Positive externality arises when an action by an individual or a group confers benefits to others. Miss Lucy is a person who loves gardening and maintains a beautiful garden. Her action generates a positive externality and it occurs since her action not only benefit herself that is it not only give her satisfaction because of the beauty of the garden but it also gives satisfaction to her neighbor who have a chance of enjoying the beauty of her garden without any contribution hence her action benefits her neighbor and the society as a whole negative externality arise when an action by an individual or group produces harmful effects on others pollution is a negative externality let us concentrate on our discussion on the topic pollution as an externality let us assume a car manufacturing firm located near a residential plot and a river prior to the setting up of the plan in the area people were enjoying good health and the surrounding environment was clean with the setting up of the car manufacturing plan when the firm discharges its untreated smoke into the atmosphere and waste effluents in the river, the air and river is polluted, affecting the health and welfare of the people residing near the plant. People no longer enjoy fresh air and river has become contaminated because of the waste effluents released into it. People living nearby are now having variety of health issues and have to bear a cost in the form of medical expenses or health costs or other expenses such as air and water purification costs. These costs are called external costs. The private cost is the cost of producing the car by the firm. The social costs include the private costs of production incurred by the company and the external costs of pollution that are passed on to society. Let us assume that a car manufacturing firm sells the car to Mr. John. Mr. John purchases the car at a price which is equal to cost of producing the car or private cost. The car manufacturing firm does not take into account the external costs borne by the people. If the firm takes into consideration the costs borne by the people, then it would increase the price of the car and give a portion of it to the people staying near the plan as compensation. Compensation may be in the form of monetary compensation to each person or construction of community hospital providing health services free of cost or at a cheaper rate or any other form of compensation. Since the firm does not take into account the sufferings of the people and costs associated with it and Mr. John purchases the car at a comparatively cheaper rate, the social costs borne by the people are not taken into account. The transaction between the firm and Mr. John leads to an externality. The external costs borne by the people residing near the plan who are not involved in the transaction between the firm and Mr. John is called externality. Hence, pollution is a negative externality. In an activity generating negative externality, social cost is higher than private cost. Externalities create a divergence between the private and social costs of production. Let us try to understand the concept of pollution as an externality with the help of a diagram. The demand curve DD shows the quantity demanded at each price. The supply curve S shows the quantity of cars supplied by all the firms at each price if they are taking only the private costs to account and they are allowed to emit pollution at zero cost. The supply curve is also denoted by 
MPC. Marginal private cost MPC is the cost of producing an additional unit of a good or service that is borne by the producer of that good or service. The demand curve is also denoted by MSB. Marginal social benefit MSB is the marginal benefit enjoyed by society by the consumers of a good or service and by everyone else who benefits from it. The market equilibrium E0 where quantity supplied and quantity demanded are equal is at a price of $P1 and a quantity of Q1 units. In this case, the car manufacturing firm is not taking into consideration the external costs borne by the people. The car manufacturing plant pollutes the environment. Pollution is created as a byproduct of the metals, plastics, chemicals, and energy that are used in producing cars. Let us say that if these pollutants were emitted into the air and water, they would create costs of $150, which is equivalent to 11,000 Indian rupees per car produced. These costs might occur because of injuries to human health and include costs such as medical expenses or health costs or other expenses such as air and water purification costs. In a market with no anti-pollution restrictions, firms can dispose of certain ways at no cost. Now imagine that firms that produce cars must factor in these external costs of pollution. That is, the firms have to consider not only the cost of labor and materials needed to make a car, but also the broader cost to society from pollution. If the firm is required to pay $150 for the additional external cost of pollution each time it produces a car, production becomes more costly and the entire supply curve shifts up by $150. By taking external cost of pollution to account, the firm will need to receive a price of P2 per car and produce a quantity of Q2. It can be seen that there is a shift on the graph by looking at supply curve S1. The supply curve is also denoted by MSC. Marginal social cost is the total cost to society of producing an additional unit of a good or service. Marginal social cost is equal to the sum of the marginal cost of producing the product and the correctly measured damage costs involved in the process of production. Marginal social cost MSC is the sum of marginal private cost MPC and marginal external cost MEC. Marginal private cost MPC is the cost of producing an additional unit of a good or service that is borne by the producer of that good or service. Marginal external cost MEC is the cost of producing an additional unit of a good or service that falls on people other than the producer. MSC equals MPC plus MEC. The new equilibrium will occur at E1. By taking the additional external cost of pollution to account results in a higher price, a lower quantity of production and a lower quantity of pollution. The supply curves are based on choices about production that firms make while looking at their marginal costs. Demand curves are based on the benefits that individuals perceive while maximizing utility. If no externalities existed, private costs would be the same as the cost to society as a whole and private benefits will be the same as the benefits to society as a whole. Thus, if no externalities existed, the interaction of demand and supply would coordinate social costs and benefits. But the reality is that externalities do exist because externalities represent a case where markets no longer consider all social costs but only some of them. Economists commonly refer to externalities as an example of market failure. When there is market failure, the private market fails to achieve efficient output because either firm do not account for all costs incurred in the production of output and or consumers do not account 
for all benefits obtained in case of a positive externality. In the case of pollution at a market output, social costs of production exceed social benefits to consumers and the market produces too much of the product. If firms are required to pay the social costs of pollution, they create less pollution but produce less of the product and charge a higher price.